Welcome to blogengine.net. I'm Ben Amata and in this short video I'm going to give you a brief tour of blogengine.net. So I've installed blogengine on my computer. Uh, here's the introductory post. It's up in my browser. I'm going to go ahead and log in. The default username and password is admin admin. Uh, now after logging in the first time we recommend that you change your password to something that's not the default. So I'll go ahead and uh, do that now. Okay, I've changed my password. Uh, now that we're logged in, we can uh, you can see we have the administration widget here. This contains uh, a bunch of links. Each each link uh, corresponds to a page in the control panel. Uh, so, for example, one of the uh, most common ones will be the settings link. I'll go ahead and click on that. Uh, we're in the settings area where you can configure things like the name of the blog and description and theme, um, among other things. So I'll go ahead and uh, change here the name of the theme and description and go ahead and save those settings. And when we go back to the front of the blog, uh, you'll see the name and descriptions in there, so success. Okay, now let's go back into the settings page and take a look at themes this time. So uh, in the themes drop down list, we've been looking at the standard theme so far, but Blog Engine does ship with the uh, Indigo theme and mobile theme. So if we click on Indigo theme and we click on Preview, uh, this will show us what the what that theme looks like. It has the same introductory post and the widgets, so same site but different theme. Um, one of the places we can go to to download a, um, a where there's a lot of blog engine themes that, that can be downloaded is blogenginetheme.com. Now this site has a, a few dozen uh, blog engine themes that you could uh, download and uh, use in your blog in place of the standard theme. So um, I went ahead uh, beforehand and downloaded uh, some of those themes. Now each theme is uh, has its own folder and contains the theme files in there. So I'll go ahead and copy these um, theme folders um, now I'm using Web Matrix here to manage uh, Blog Engine, but you could use Visual Studio or even just Windows Explorer. Um, now we have the themes folder in Blog Engine, and in here there's a one folder for each theme. I'll go ahead and paste in here the uh, themes that I downloaded beforehand. So now we have about uh, six folders in here. Now if we go back to uh, Blog Engine on the Settings tab and refresh. Um, now we see all those different themes in the drop-down list. So I could select one of the ones I downloaded uh, beforehand, click on Preview, and uh, now we have a completely different look for the theme. Um, another another one that uh, that looks pretty nice as well is uh, Wild Nature here. Uh, there's this theme, and uh, well, for the rest of this video, I'll go ahead and stick with the Extreme Blog uh, theme. So if we go back to the uh, front of the blog, we can see what that looks like here. Okay, now let's take a quick look at the widget system. Over here on the right-hand side, we can see each one of these boxes is a widget. So we have about the author, uh, administration, month list, page list, uh, blog role, newsletter. Now for each widget, there is a edit link where you can click on it and edit. So the about the author is actually the uh, text box widget that has a WYSIWYG editor, and so you could you know change the contents here and uh, as it's a WYSIWYG editor you can do things such as uh, you know rich text formatting so if I go ahead and save that that'll update the uh, widget here we can also move the widgets around if we like so we just uh, there's a drop down list here and we can indicate where we want it to be moved to so I could uh, click here and now about uh, Ben has moved here right above the month list um, we can delete widgets if we want. So here's the search widget. We just click on the little deletion icon and now it's gone. And we can add more widgets as well. There's a drop down list here of widgets and there's actually a lot of other uh, widgets people have created and can be downloaded. So if we wanted we could add the recent post widget and click on add. Okay now we've got uh, a widget here that shows all of our recent posts. Let's take another look at the control panel and create a new post while we're there as well. So if we go here to the uh, dashboard, this is something that's new in Blog Engine that wasn't in previous versions. We have a single page here that uh, shows stats, um, you know, draft posts and pages you might have. So sort of a bird's eye view of what's going on. Um, now for a post, we can click on Write New Post. This will take us to the uh, Add Post screen. So we could uh, create a new one. Um, let's say my first blog post um, with some content. If we want we could um, insert an image for example. 
Okay, so I have a picture here that I'll go ahead and select and click on open. Uh, what that's going to do when I click upload is it'll insert the picture into the uh, post here. Uh, so now we have a title and we have the picture. If we want, we could select a category. Uh, we could create a new one here. Let's say this is uh, a post about our vacation. So I'll go ahead and click add and uh, select vacation and blog. And tags are optional as well. We could uh, tag something um, uh, vacation, fun, summer. Okay, so when we're done, I'll go ahead and click on save post. That'll save the post and uh, show us what it looks like here. Uh, we can go to the uh, home page and now we have the uh, initial uh, the new post plus the initial post and if we want we can add comments um, you know blog engine supports comments so let's say uh, my name is John uh, there's my email address and put in uh, some comment we can preview it if we want then go ahead and save it and now we have a comment comment in there so one of the administration pages we'll take a look at has to do with comment management. So if we click on comments here, this will show us basically there's three tabs. There's the approved tab, pending tab, and spam tab. So approved are all posts that have been approved. Uh, spam would be if the comment is considered spam. Uh, pending would be something that requires your approval. So uh, it's sort of in limbo. It's not yet approved, so nobody can see the comment, but you can decide whether if you want it or if you want to reject it if you think it's spam. Uh, speaking of spam, uh, over here on the settings area, we have a couple of uh, different settings uh, for comments. Uh, you can control whether if you want to moderate comments or not. Another new option is discuss. If you want, you can replace the blog engine comment system with discuss. Now over on the comment rules and filters section, here uh, this is where you can define some of the uh, criteria for what is considered spam and what's not considered spam. We also have these anti-spam services here that you can uh, enable and whenever someone leaves a comment, the comment will be run through these uh, spam services to determine if they're spam or not spam. Okay, now we looked at creating a post. Another thing that Blog Engine has is something called pages. Um, if we go over to the uh, pages tab here, you can see that um, we have one page called example page. Um, we can create a new page, add new page, um, new page and let's put in some page content you know this is also a WYSIWYG editor so you can put in anything you like even an image or a file attachment or a video and I'll go ahead and save this um, so now this is a standalone page that isn't dated it's not a normal post uh, but you could be you could you could create a page that's dedicated for an about me page or uh, information on something pretty much any any type of content can be put on a page. Uh, one of the widgets, the page list widget, page list widget lists all the uh, different pages. So there's one that comes with Blog Engine, an example page. Uh, here's another one, a new page, the one we just created. Okay, well that's the end of this tour. Now there's a lot more to Blog Engine that we didn't cover in this uh, video, but for more information on Blog, in blog Engine, head on over to .netblogengine.net where there's uh, more videos and other resources that you can download. Okay, well thanks for watching the video and I hope you enjoy your experience with blogengine.net.